Hey guys and welcome back to another one. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today to keep up with the Apple M1 CPU comparison, here we are with Adobe After Effects. I couldn't put this one uh, along with Premiere because it was a lot of information. So here we are with After Effects. Now hardware that I'll be using is the MacBook Air M1, MacBook Pro 13 inches with one i5, the Mac mini uh, late 2018 which if you don't know the specification i will leave some links right over here so that you can check out the other videos and specifications and so on and so forth and i will also use a windows machine which is this one right over here with an i7 8700k and 32 gigabytes of ram now the software is after effects and the template is designed by me i will leave a link down below it's called the dramatic film strip photos it's a template that i designed a few years ago it's available on the link that i will leave right over there it's something that i'm used to work with it i know the results of some computers and i was curious to see how the m1 behaved now what i'm going to share is not only the rendering times but also the ram access and one of the questions that people has, have been asking or insinuations is that eight gigabytes with intel is the same as 16 with arm no for the test that i've done no it is eight exactly the same the speed access is something different but the amount is more or less the same now i did start by testing out the ram preview and ram preview for those that don't know is basically to put all the quality of the project on the ram which is the fastest access that we have even faster than any ssd and what happens is that with the full quality one minute and 20 seconds timeline the macbook air and the macbook pro which have eight gigabytes each of ram will get up to 22 seconds more or less of preview and this means that we will not be able to preview the whole project in real time now if we go to the mac mini which has 32 gigabytes of ram then that's not a problem at all which will give us the whole preview and this first test will just show us that 8 gigabytes of ram on intel is 8 gigabytes on arm there is no difference if we had 16 then instead of 22 seconds we would have 44 seconds more or less so eight gigabytes of ram is eight gigabytes of ram now one curious thing which is to be expected is the ram access once i did choose instead of high quality or the maximum quality half resolution only what happens is that when i press ram preview again the macbook pair goes almost instantly to reach the old timeline with half resolution while the intel takes a lot longer when we press ram preview it just takes and takes and takes so the ram access is a lot faster on the macbook air now to reinforce this idea what i did was close up after effects on both machines open it up and ram preview on half resolution what happens is exactly the same now the macbook air has a lot faster ram access and we can see by some images right over there that it's really fast to give us the whole preview of the project and the macbook pro with the intel cpu takes a lot longer to reach the whole timeline so the first part in terms of ram 8 gigs as i said is 8 gigs whether it's intel or arm so forget about that thing that people is saying that hey don't worry 8 gigs on intel is 16 on arm so if you go with 16 on arm it would be equivalent to the 32 no forget it. 8 is 8 if you need 8 that's fine i bought it with 8 if you need 16 just go with 16 which at this moment is the maximum for the macbook air now in terms of rendering i did this test as well because we get the template we purchase it doesn't matter we design it we change the pictures the clips and so on and so forth and when we want to render uh, we want it to be fast now the macbook air was the only machine that i didn't test out from all of these and i was curious to see the results and spoiler alert is that the result is great now the macbook air rendered this particular project in 19 minutes and 20 seconds which is just awesome for a machine that doesn't have a fan and a sock which is ported from the mobile world just insane now the macbook pro uh, i5 took exactly 28 minutes and 20 seconds so nine minutes more for this exact same project is a lot now the mac mini took 18 minutes and five seconds and my i7 8700k took only 12 minutes and two seconds or five seconds or so so 
Just for After Effects, if this is your kind of business, then a machine such as this one is still the best option. But 12 minutes to 19 minutes on a MacBook Air, which is a portable machine, it's a awesome result in my opinion of course now one more thing that i would like to share was that i did measure as well the battery and i did start the macbook air with 100 percent battery and it drained five percent of battery while doing the rendering only and the macbook pro which i always state it's the best computer that i have in terms of battery but at least it was not anymore it was with 82 percent of or 86 percent sorry of battery and then it drained while rendering to 42% of battery. So once again, not only on performance, but in terms of battery, the M1 shows to be a very, very capable CPU. And guys, basically this is it. After Effects is a beast in terms of CPU and RAM consumption. Of course, a beefier computer such as this one will, uh, in my opinion, be the fastest and smartest choice. Of course, if you want to be in the Mac ecosystem, you can go with a machine such as iMac, which is not the kind of computer that I prefer because I prefer to choose my own monitors and displays and so on and so forth but you will get an equivalent performance and I'm really curious once again to see what comes next M2, M3 and M4 for the desktop machines that hopefully will blow us away in terms of tech advantage guys hopefully this video was helpful uh, in some way and if it was don't forget my usual thumbs up right over there my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one